It's Wayne's World, Wayne's World, party on, excellent, woo! Please, please welcome your excellent host, Wayne Campbell. Excellent! Excellent. Welcome to the flip side, an excellent tubular GYTO podcast where we break down, share, and challenge flip perspectives and insights on excellent and radical topics in education. Yeah. Party on, Chris! Party on, excellent! I'm your host, Wayne, and I got my good friend, Garth. What's going on, Garth? What's up? What's up? Party on. Party on, Party man. On. And it's our Halloween episode. Rock on, rock on. Halloween, Halloween. Halloween. Spooky time. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. On today's episode, we have a very special guest, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Party on, Beetlejuice. Beetle. Say my name, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. <laughs> Flip side starts right now. It's Wayne's World, Wayne's World, party time. Excellent. Yeah. Party on, Wayne. Party on, Garth. Here's our excellent host, Wayne Campbell. Awesome. Welcome to Wayne's World. We have our special guest for a Halloween episode. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Rock on, Beetlejuice. What's going on, What's man? Up? Back from the dead. Yeah. Back from the dead, man. Are we all going to be like this the whole episode, or are we going to like... Totally. Yeah. Podcast. <laughs> it's really hot. It's very hot. I hate long hair. Okay. Wow. You guys really committed to we that. We really did. You really committed to that. Maverick is way. not liking our new hairstyle. We watched the like, video. I not do that again. All I cannot things. take Wade in this hair. It is He's too much for it. me. It is too, like you actually kind of look the same. Oh, Wade just that's looks embarrassing. Like, and the way that he's shaking it is just it's so fun. good. It's it is shake so it. Good. Wade. Shake it. <laughs> Shake your hair. Party <laughs> on. If you're watching, if you're not watching on YouTube, you're, you're missing, missing, out. missing out. You're missing out. I just thought of that. I just thought anyone who not is it's not watching on YouTube good. and they listen to this episode, the whole beginning, they're going to be like, what is happening? It's what are they on? Good. You have to watch it on YouTube. It's our Halloween episode. So we're in costumes. I guess we don't talk like that the whole time because that would be very annoying, probably. We had to get a little oh, spooky man. on the Spooky. Yeah. So we got our Halloween set. We and got we got my girl Tia. Did anybody introduce Tia? Tia. Tia, oh, welcome Tia. to the flip side, girl. Tia, a.k.a. Teachers in America. Teachers in America, <laughs> Tia. I love and that. And if you're not watching, Whatever. again, you're missing out. It's a skeleton, folks. It is a skeleton. Tia, I've been dying. Tia, girl. Excellent. I've been dying to see you, girl. Tia's got and her. Dying, she's dying. She's got her boo headband on. She's got her Get Your Teach On Yeti mug. Tia, <laughs> the camera on her is too much. I can't. Tia. What? I can't. What, it's so what's good. in her Yeti mug? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know what, guys? If nobody else has fun with this, we are having the time of our lives right yeah, now. Yeah, it's up. So, excellent so time. My wigs. So there you go. <laughs> it is so hot in here with these wigs. But oh, so we are doing a two-part Halloween episode. This is the first one. Next week, we're going to do a follow-up on some of the scariest things in education in time for Halloween. Now, Hope, you love Halloween. Oh, my gosh. It is literally your favorite this holiday. This is why we are here, because do you think that Chris and Wade exactly. would be doing this? Never. If it were not for me. I'm like... We have to we have to decorate the set. Oh, we have geez. to decorate the set of flip side. We have to I mean, really, I just wanted to be your makeup juice. is amazing. I know Th I've told you that off Thank air, you. but on I air we haven't maybe even acknowledged I could be that. Like a costume That's makeup crazy. artist in my next life. Yeah, you, you know? should do it. Why don't you um, say that on a normal but day to her? Halloween obsessed, in case you don't know anything about me, this will be the first thing you do know. <laughs> I decorate for Halloween. We decorate for Halloween. Well, thank you. That also doubles as Christmas. Well, so. wait, wait, wait. Let's back up a little bit. So she would decorate. We decorate. We would decorate. Wayne's World. <laughs> Wayne's World. Talk, yeah. He's so confused now on his syllables and his letters. He doesn't know what to do. We we would decorate for Halloween, but it, we would go all out, and then we would just take it down at the end of October, and then we would decorate for Christmas. So fun. I said, I'm tired of this. What can we do that we can just kind of keep things up? And then Hope was like... Well, what about Maverick loves Nightmare Before Christmas so yep. much? So we just kind of we were like, "That's a decorate for both slash Christmas spirit." Let's do it. So we put it up in October. 
And it stays up till January. Sometimes, sometimes February. March. Sometimes I mean, March. you know, it just depends. Our on the HO, get to most it. of our HOA loves it. Some are confused, but it is what it is. But then I've been seeing all of these like girls, makeup artists on TikTok, and it's like the Beetlejuice trend, you oh. know, with the musical song, the. Um, yeah. All you got to do is say my yeah, That one. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got to be Beetlejuice. Well, unfortunately, our Halloween costume, which I'm not going to say yet. Yeah, don't. Because it's it a big deal in our household, you know. It's like the Super Bowl of the King household um, is not Beetlejuice. So I was like, we're going to do a podcast so I can dress up as Beetlejuice. And she really like, tried, probably. I can see you convincing Maverick. Maverick, don't you want to do Beetlejuice? He's like, no. How cute would he Maverick, be? Maverick, let's Beetlejuice. do Beetlejuice. He's like, no. Ma- Maverick assigns us all parts. He does. Yes. Everybody's got a part. Yes. Halloween is a big thing in our neighborhood. It we is. have like close to, I don't need 1,500 kids. Yeah. yeah, and my part this year is a hoot, you know? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> there's your, there's your have head. you been assigned? There, he's part? been assigned. Uh, I've convinced the child who I should be by assigning this. And game. there is your, it's there, a hoot. There's your clue. It's a hoot. No, <laughs> what are you gonna, where are you going to find something? Don't you worry. It's already in the mail. <laughs> In the mail. It's Excellent. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Party on. So uh, you love Halloween. I, hear, I would love to see Chase's face back there. I bet it's the nerdiest smile that you could possibly Probably find. eating those um, cashews and candy corn that Hope we made. That even is so have, good. We even have Halloween snacks. Yeah, she loves Halloween so much she would like one out a lot with the snacks. There's like, uh, wow, <laughs> I just caught a glimpse. You're amazing. You look amazing. I don't Excellent. Know. I don't know if you, but, you, you trimmed your facial uh, hair. You committed. I did. I was very scruffy before this episode, so um, I can. Excellent. I did, I'm not not all the way because that's not happening. But I did a little bit. Oh but um, I'm on the exact flip side of Halloween. I literally could care less about Halloween. Hey, I, I don't know, know why. I don't know why. I really don't. I don't what? see the point. I don't. Uh, know. I think I've if I'm wearing a, I was the same. I used to if I'm same. wearing a costume. First of all, I'm a theater kid. Everyone knows that. So, like, exactly, I have to like act a part. On Halloween, people just dress up a ca- in costumes and like act a fool, like not a part. Oh, so but you think they're one. posers? But number so, two, so you're yeah, like, exactly. you're, you're, but then you're number posing. two, okay. once you get into like high school and college, costumes just start into like less clothes, really. That's and true. I'm not doing that, so it's like, mm, what am what I? What is the fewest possible clothes? Liter- literally, that has, that is like Halloween yeah. all of college, and I'm like, mm, it's easier not to dress up. Actually, Chase and I have done a group costume before as well. Not not the last class. Uh, uh, one have. of our first dates was at uh, one of our friend's houses during Halloween. Remember Carving Pumper- pumpkins. Carving pumpkins. Wow. See, that, I think that it's is just cross like country the, and it's wrestling. A, it's the cornerstone, the foundation of our relationship. I didn't That's know anything about, I really didn't know anything about Halloween. Also, or, this is, I think, why I really don't like Halloween. Like, there's a number of reasons, but that's the one. It's the costume scary. is weird. No, the scary. I don't watch. I, I could scary. care less about scary. Oh. Number two, I hate strangers and human talking to human <laughs> people. So the fact of see? someone ringing my doorbell, I will like ninja crawl across my house not to answer the door. But see, when you're in a character, you don't. Have, no, like, it I don't know. No, I I'll experienced see. this last year when Chase and Abby, no, Chase and Chris invited some. Not you, Chris. Other Chris. Invited people inside of our home oh, without no, letting me know. This. Oh, well, I, that's what strangers. I think you did that actually. <laughs> that yeah, it's fun. fine. But yeah, but I just don't want that awkward interaction like trick or treat. Oh, here's some candy. Have a great, like, that's my funny. dad. Now, my dad, he can answer that door all day. Bring Paul to Atlanta. He what will. are you doing well, here? One time I wasn't going to be at my house. My dad literally stayed in my house in Orlando just to hand out candy to trick or treaters because oh he wanted that experience. My dad I, loves it, it too, actually. My dad thinks it's the greatest thing ever. I but don't, yeah, I, just, um, I like giving candy out to kids. I just cannot wait till Halloween night because we do like the whole spread. We have yeah, we've it done is good. Tacos before we've done chili before. I, I like Halloween know. at your house, just not Halloween yeah. like in church. Maybe once I'm a dad. It's It'll literally my one of my favorite days of the year. I love that. All right. So on today's episode, we are going to break down some of the spookiest things in education that you guys said. Um, But I'm going to start with just something very simple, very easy. And if you are watching, I want you to give me your feedback. What is scary? Oh, wait, is this? Is this the icebreaker or the episode? Oh, this is the episode. We're, oh, the, so we're di- so the episode is the haunted. The house? episode is the icebreaker. Okay, yeah, so yeah, we yeah, explained yeah. it. The, uh, explain we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Oh, oh, this gosh. is like okay. a thing. Okay. Oh wait, I do have an icebreaker though. But should we save it for the next one? Okay. So yeah. Okay, I have an icebreaker. Got we'll to in for the next episode. one. We are doing two. We are doing two, yeah. and we had our whole like love a good ice musical production of Wayne's World in the beginning of this. That episode. was all you needed for the yeah. So this is a two part episode. Like we said, the next episode will launch next week before Halloween. So make sure you check it out. But I want to know, um, and this can kind of break the ice a little bit. Which is the scarier day to teach on Halloween or the day after <laughs> Halloween in the classroom? Always the day after. I mean, come on. It it seems like it never fails that Halloween is very rarely on a Friday. Facts. Like, if you, I swear it's usually it's on like a Monday, Monday or Tuesday. And it is. I mean, listen, same thing in my classroom. Like, I love any reason to celebrate, to have fun, to theme anything. So 
I love a good Halloween celebration, but then it's like the next day, everybody's hungover from candy. Kids are crazy. It, it's always like the lunch boxes come in day, full of candy. Yeah, it's part, like, that's a they thing. They had candy for breakfast. Yeah. And it's always like a full moon the day after Halloween. Too. Yeah. It's just like straight up chaos, man. Okay. Wait, how about you? Day uh, of Halloween, day after? I, worse for you. I don't see a difference, but I think it's because <laughs> that I'm a very different teacher than she is. That's true. So yeah, I, I like, right. I like Noah and then it is what it is. You probably kept your classroom business as usual you, during Halloween. Now, mind you, they would come in crazy, but oh, we sure. get it together. Yeah. Like that was not a, that was not the problem, but it Correct. was like, I give so much to Halloween. Yeah. Like I love it so much. And so, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, I, Halloween is not crazy. It's more fun, I think. And then the day after it, you just know that it's they're going to be tired and exhausted. This year it's a Friday. Just playing, so that's, playing for it. Wait, it is? Yeah, I think. I think it's a Thursday, Wait, Friday. What? I'm pretty sure. I think that'd be amazing. I think Thursday is Halloween and Friday. Hold on. I mean, it yeah. does it does mess up wrong. your planning. It does I mess up your right. planning. Let I'll say that. Know in case they have. Yeah, yeah. But let them know. So teachers don't have had this marked on their calendar for. I'm pretty sure Halloween is probably a Thursday, the next day, and then the day after is. It is a Thursday, Friday. So you've not Friday. Just get pushed through. Yeah, I think. Here's the thing about kids: they're going to come in on a hundred. On Halloween. They know it's Halloween. Whether your school does costumes or a right. lot of schools do like storybook parades or things like that. Or you do anything. Um, or you do anything. It or, doesn't yeah, matter. Exactly. <laughs> they are going to come in at a 100. So how can we kind of capitalize on that and do things that uh, funnel that energy in a productive way instead yeah. of being like, oh my gosh, we only have four hours left. How are we right. going to make it till five? Oh my gosh, we're never going to make it to the bell. Um, that's why I love Hope actually did over the last two years we've been following Get Your Teach On, put together these like spooky Halloween lessons and we kind of put them all together and brought them back this year mm -hmm. because it's like, they are nothing that's outside of the box. Like, oh my gosh, where is that from? But sometimes you're like, I need something to fill this well, time that's going to be an engaging up. way. Hold up. Some of them are no longer outside of the box because so many people have done them. Correct. I, when I did, when you started it, correct. When there I are, did there are some that are big. There that are big had one. never been in a classroom. That is I true. I forgot that song. Never seen that in a classroom before. There is a big one on there. There are some big no, ones, but good. a lot of them are easy, simple prep. Is what I really meant by that. That like, yeah. it's nothing yeah. that you have to like do all this stuff in. Um, so if you want more information on that, it's on our website. But it's they're so how do and we, they're easy. Yeah, they're easy. And super free. easy to really use that time in a meaningful way for student engagement. Awesome resource. Kind of it's an awesome resource to use. Don't waste the, the day. I, yeah. I think that's a lot of times in education. Yep. Teachers say, okay, this is the day. I know they're going to be Utilize crazy. Yeah. So then you're like, I can't even, I can't even fight with that. No, we kind of got to up it up times 10. Well, it's everything we've days. been talking about on the flip side. It's stop making excuses and start finding solutions. And so if you know, if you already know that kids are going to be crazy, if they are crazy that day, that's your fault. Hmm. Bottom line, like let's call it, let's be spooky about it from the get go. Like if kids are crazy on Halloween, that is your fault because you knew that ahead of time and you didn't think or, or reestablish expectations or have things that, like you said, funnels that energy, channels that energy into productive things. So if you already know that, what are your plans? Be proactive, not reactive, because you know otherwise it's going to be a miserable day. So party on excellent <laughs> all right so this episode this is part one like i said part two will be next week this is all about the spookiest things in education um haunted house edition so Let's you've go. seen over the past few years there's been a ton we've even done some on get your teach on where it's a haunted house but and it's something education Related. I feel like we need so, haunted background. I know we need like spiders popping in on the screen chase and usually has a spider something there we go nothing spider no, maybe, maybe. Post edit. Spider. Yeah, there you go. Spider. Wow, look at that spider. <laughs> He's going to post edit it now. He's going to be like, wow, that was amazing. Um, but so this is Haunted House, but teacher edition. So it's scariest things. I'm going to kind of read them, and then I want to hear your feedback on it. If you think it's like, maybe we do like one to ten of scariest, okay? Oh, okay. Like for you personally. Okay, okay. And if you're at home, you can play along too or give us some of yours. What is the scariest things that are happening to you? So a haunted house, but, okay, here's the first one. A haunted house, but the copier jam oh, the morning no. of your lesson. There is, oh my God, I feel some type of way about <laughs> this one. I don't think Wade cares. Wade's like, eh, I'll figure it out. I, like, you guys, I, especially on Halloween <laughs> themed lessons, like all I, the things. And, and also, I am not a pre planned individual. Like, everything is usually the night before, the day before, the hour before, the minute before. And I yeah, have, Courtney Brink told us once, like, so she's like, oh, I just finished happened. my copies for the next six weeks. And we're like, what? I would be like the night before at 3 oh, a.m. Like I making it never. for that. I was like, I wish I could be organized like that. Yeah, I was never a plan ahead kind of person. But oh, man, that just makes my stomach just like cringe because I'm thinking of all the things that I plan and then I can't 
get the, and you, I mean, again, it's so much of it isn't even necessary. Like I could do probably every single lesson without whatever it is I was copying. Cause I'm not like a worksheet kind of person, but more of like a response sheet or a, mm -hmm. um, and I probably could do it all with paper. But then again, I've like taken time to make that theme and ah, it wouldn't bother you a bit. Wade? Wade would not lose a wink of sleep. Mm, I don't think I would. I mean, but it would be dependent like to your question. Like if I had planned this out, if it was this huge activity and I can just think back to when the copier wasn't working. When the booklet maker was Oh my working. God. <laughs> oh, like Wade the response King thing. lives. Oh, for my middle schoolers. And I, I think it Boy. was because. And I Daniel taught, Thompson. You and Daniel Thompson in those booklets. Well, I taught fifth through eighth grade and I taught multiple different content areas for like eight years. And oh my gosh, like if I had planned something out, like I wanted that to happen. And so, yeah, it would be, I could figure it out and I would be upset or whatever, but like, I'm not trying to waste a day either. So yeah, yeah it would not be good. I, I think this one is pretty bad for me because only if I, if he I would, use copies, of I credit, know why. number one, why he wouldn't have his data sheet. I wouldn't have that. No, no, I'll make that. I'll write that data <laughs> on my arm. If I have to, I don't care about the copies. I'll have my data, but I think <laughs> that actually should be one of these, but, um, I think, like Hope said, if I'm going to use copies, I was probably up till two, three, four, making something that it is needed for this. And then I'm like, last minute. So the morning, I'm like, okay, I'm going to make the copies. And that's just going to disalign my whole day. Will it work? Fine. But I'm probably going to put a Staples Kinko sort or something it's to get those a, copies by. It's I, not I an instructional that. slash student problem. It's totally a me problem. Oh, yeah. I oh, 100%. I fully accept that. Fully accept that. Yeah, 100%. All right. Next one. It's a certain way. A haunted house. Oh boy. A haunted house, but it's an email from admin or a coworker with a lot of grammatical mistakes. Uh, I, know, I, I think I know how you're both going to answer. How am I going to answer? Huh? How I think you both don't care about that. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care at all. I am probably the, the probably the one sending the email that has is. all yeah. of the grammatical. Oh my gosh. So, okay. I hope Amy Lippmans listens to the, listens to this. If anybody, <laughs> she does actually, because sometimes she's like, "Oh, this was funny that you said." So if anybody knows us, Amy Lippmans, which I'm sure many of you do, especially if you teach second grade. Oh, I know where this is going. And Amy, Sorry, and I I caught in the web for a second. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Amy and I have created units for the year. Shout out back um, in the Stone Age. Shout out Magic and Math. They still doing hey, good. Hey, they still doing good. They're, they're still in class. Listen, everywhere. just the Magic and Math. Use those. Their you. math scores go through the roof. Okay, but anyways, that's not the point. <laughs> um, Halloween plug, but. Um, I, this episode is sponsored by Magic, <laughs> Magic of Math. Math. Amy, where is, I'm going to make you pay for this one, girl. Step um, into second grade. No, but, okay, point. So I like am all about making the units creative and hands-on and manipulatives and all the things to get students to understand those foundational practices of math. And that's what I care about. I would send the units to Amy last minute, no doubt. I, she would be done two weeks ahead of time for the month, and I would be done day of, minute of, hour of. She's like, I've got to post it today, and because we did this bundle thing. And it was inevitable. She hated working with me for the mere fact that she was she like, did. Hope, if you misspell one more. I'm like, my brain works so fast. I'm just trying to get the ideas out. I can't even think of it. So I would be the one to send that. So I find it very offensive when people get offended by grammatical errors because I'm the one that always, I have them in presentations. I have them in workshops. Oh, you no do? People will pass Hope How? a post-it note in the middle of a session. By the way, on slide 13, you spelled this wrong. She's like, I know. Someone told me weeks ago. Yeah, I feel so is, judged. I'm a very smart, in creative the moment, girl. Correct. It's, and it's not like but, we're best-selling authors. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, he edited that book. I don't know how many. It's still so Susan. It's still, 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 still a typo in still it. Still there's a big typo in we it. We try. Like, you know. I uh, mean, so anyways, that doesn't bother me. I'm sure I would I would venture to say this offends you terribly. It really, it it does to an extent. It does if it's like excessive. And like, now if it's a little thing that like, oh, your pinky slipped and like you didn't catch it. Like okay. fat fingers? Yeah. yeah I guess. Something. Like, I've got a fat whatever. finger right now. But if it's just like. Capital letters, punctuation off, the spacing. Like, if you've ever gotten an email from me, it is like I spent I spend time crafting it because it like he that's does. What my brain he works. really does. He, does. Um, he uses color coded. I do text. I, because he your brain out responds. He highlights that, you know, things in red, I which do. is very triggering. I know, I, Talk about spooky. Yeah. It, oh my gosh. <laughs> now you, I shifted to pink and orange. Okay. Um, it's on brand now, but. It just h helps your brain process things in different ways. If things are chunked, if it's not just messy paragraphs, it's very like all organized. these things, like I'll you can that. see what this looks like. So yep. it would bother me if it's like you didn't take the, you want me to take the time to read it, but you didn't take the time to like organize or like edit it at all. So now I'm trying to like 
read your Morse code of grammatical errors of like, what does this <laughs> even mean? Is he talking to so, me right now? He's talking to both of us. <laughs> oh, not, you all don't email me. I, we work via text. I'm not, I don't know how many emails I've got. And Wade, I don't think I've ever oh, got an email from Hope actually. This is the, I'm, I'm, glad, where this I'm is going. glad this is a fun episode. I'm right. just really yeah. glad this is a fun episode because oh, if boy. you follow Wade on social media. Oh, that's, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. What, Chris, I was that's what I'm social talking media. about. Chris, social media too. I wasn't even thinking that. Chris, but now I'm excellent. Now I'm cringing. My stomach hurts. said excellent. Chris literally texted me the other day and he goes, I honestly think he does it on purpose at this point. I did. That was not the other day. That was weeks ago. Single, if you follow Wade, you just have to get to know him to love him because every single post. It doesn't even, it's not even close. I don't care if it's it's not. I don't care if it's a story. It's like not in a vowel off or an S. It is like you're trying to say the word pencil and hippopotamus is written. It like literally (laughs) makes no sense at all. I have to text him multiple times a day and be like, English, please. I know. I'm like that. You're I not will the only, only send one. it to him if it literally I'm like, I, no. I can't even figure it out. And I'm friends with you. And I y'all, don't know. Y'all aren't even the only one. So it's not even like my educational followers. It's like. Oh, other eh, people t- say things Oh, to yeah. You? From the gym. <laughs> like, you're like, hey, man, this is I'm like, oh. And most oh, of them God. are not even, are from out of country. They're from Brazil. Or I like, come on. <laughs> they're, not even, <laughs> they're not even English they, they, speakers. Which is their second language. And they're, poor Fourth Giovanni. Oh. Cynthia's probably like, wait, you messed up. She's learning English herself. She teaches herself all the time with me. <laughs> My girl Cynthia, shout out to her. Oh my, oh my god. To know us is to love us. This is hilarious. I, I'm sweating Or me, too, but it's from the wig. Okay. We have a lot more, but this is supposed to be I don't get offended by it, so send it to me, guys. Okay. Uh, oh, I'll send it. Oh, I'll send them to you. All right, here we go. Screenshots. Um, it's a haunted house, but it's this is on the email train as well. But it's a email that could have been uh, a meeting that could have been an email. Sorry, I flipped it in my head. Uh Teachers, I feel like relate to this a lot. It's a what? It's a meeting. It's a can... staff meeting that could have been an oh. email. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I hate that so much. <laughs> I walk out. I got, I'm not making it. I've like, got a daughter's appointment today. Well, I think we've talked about this before. I feel like yeah. I've been very fortunate that I have worked for people where we have Tuesday faculty meetings, yes. Mm-hmm. But like at one school that I worked at, specifically Pendleton Elementary, we've talked about it so much, but we would have something called a crossroads meeting if it was that dire and that important. And crossroads is like right in the middle of the school. It takes you literally 30 minutes. Hallway meeting. There. Yeah. And we would go there and they would, it'd be five minutes. Hey, we just need if to update that. you. We need to tell you this. We need you to do this. And then we would all go back versus calling everybody down to the PLC room or the multi-purpose room. We all have to sit there for 10 minutes before the meeting ever starts. And then they tell you the dumbest thing like yeah. that. That would be infuriating. I actually think it's gotten a lot better since um, just even in the past 10 years, just because I think administrators recognize because administrators recognize their time too. Yeah. So I think it's gotten a lot better with that. Yeah. I think the only like caveat to that is when there's like district compliance things that like everyone has to be sitting face to face mm-hmm. for certain mm-hmm. trainings or certain messaging, or this is what we're doing now. Right. And it's really not your administrator's fault, but like, they're not going to blame their district and throw them under the bus. And if they do, yeah. that's their boss. So like they really shouldn't do that. Um, so they're saying they're like trying to make it as great as possible. And you're sitting there like cringing. I'd have been there many times, but as an administrator, when I got to that side, I was like, why do we need to do this? Oh, we have to for compliance. Yeah, like, yeah. have everyone in the room face to face to get through this. It's just painful. Oh my gosh, I was speaking of compliance. Like. I was sitting in church. Um, here, here's I'm gonna add one, okay? Because it okay. goes. Oh, you're adding a new one. It's a haunted house, but it's the um the school leader or the admin saying the word fidelity. Oh, we've yeah. talked about that. Oh, I heard it. I, I was like, if we were in he, church he on say Sunday. Fidelity. He said it. He pronounced it a different way. No, I was like, I, don't I think, think he that, did. No, he did. Fidelity. Because, hey. I, I don't remember no. what it was, but I was like, I think that's fidelity. But he said fidelity, and but, I was like, for any educator sitting in the room right now, triggering. they're either walking out or their heart is beating yes. so fast out of their chest because it just is a, such a trigger word in educa- I was like, wow. Rewatch and fidelity. if you missed the episode with um, Kalei, I think it's before this one. Maybe not. Maybe it's after. Ooh, that's a good but one it's a F real, It's a really good one. Now that we're doing yeah. two Halloween, we're messing up the schedule, but um, it's a really good one on um, fidelity in classrooms. It was a great episode. Okay, next one. A haunted house, but it's professional development with no hands-on activities or visuals. Well, we know how we you feel about. Ever listen to an episode or Literally. ever experienced get your teach on to any degree, you would know exactly how we feel about this. Yeah, I mean, it's a no from me. It's a no, it's a hard pass. Yeah, heck no. Yeah, but that's often no happening. Even a lot of conferences. What are you doing? Well, in the space will be you choose your session, you go, you sit there. There's just slides with words, words, words. There's no like hands on. That's what I think. Never it doesn't have to be anything crazy, well. but if you go, I mean, you, you need to well, present like you teach. It's funny right. because I, you know, this summer I did a whole workshop on um, the haunted mansion. <laughs> there goes my spooky <laughs> self again. And um, it was for administrators on leading. And first of all, 
prioritizing and planning, but leading professional development. Yeah, meaningful PD. And I had done the session many times before national conference, and I would have people say, you mean to tell me that you want, because I did one specifically on like targets, and I'm like, just the idea that you could dress up like a target employee. As much as teachers love target, you come to a workshop, or you come to a PLC, or you come to an after school meeting, dress up as a target employee, have that place dressed, or even mm-hmm. decorate a little bit like get target. your red polo teachers out. Teachers are going to be like, what the heck is happening? And I've had administrators be like, you mean to tell me you want me to dress in a red polo like a target employee when I'm trying to staff my school? And I looked at them and said, yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. If you want this to have an impact with your teachers and you actually want them to be motivated, excited, um, energetic, and actually do that thing in the school, then yes, I want you to dress like a target employee. If that's what it takes, if that's the difference between it happening or you showing up and saying the same thing just in a different way and nothing happening, happening out of it why wouldn't you just throw them, it just throw shows them it shows intention and, and purpose behind yeah. it. like and that's not even like you can obviously do more if you're really trying to get teachers to buy it uh, yeah i just saw myself on the thing oh boy i know that was me before it's the shaking of it the is head. frightening but you just, finally <laughs> catch it outside of your eye on the screen and you're like around. what is happening but it's i mean and that's something simple that you can do and and who can like oh my goodness wait wait side profile is really funny <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You look like uh, the mom of a TV save cover. Kind of does actually. No one has. Com- you know who he looks like? Oh my gosh! I've been I'm doing gonna- this forever. No, no one's commented on. Okay, I'm gonna say this. Wow. I'm gonna say this. Skill. Wait, hold on. And hold I'm on. probably. Hold, pause, we are gonna pause, get canceled. Pa- he just really wants us to see his. Yeah. Oh, okay. Com- yes. Yes. For the drop. Yeah. I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna get canceled, oh, and I, it's okay. I don't mean this in a bad. Well, it's not hope way. it's Beetlejuice saying. But that's right. Free. Don't yeah. blame me. He looks like Travis Kelsey's mom. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Look at that and tell me I'm wrong. I'm not wrong. Oh, Mrs. Kelsey. Mama Kelsey. He looks like oh, Mama man. Kelsey. Tell me I'm oh, wrong. Oh my gosh. It is it's not because it's not because she looks like a man or anything. She it's their no, style. It's, it's the style. It's the style of hair, hair and it's the glasses. That is good. Tell me, okay. tell me he doesn't look like Mama Either. Kelsey. No, they did an episode of the toast once for Halloween and um they were the Kelsey brothers and the mom. Oh my hilarious. gosh. Um okay. okay, sorry. So now people are gonna tune in on the YouTube now just because of that. Sorry to get off track. <laughs> sorry yeah, to get off track. We should have been Travis and Taylor. Man, we could have done that. Okay. Um, um, let, let's do this the last one and then we'll kind of wrap up with our own ones. And we want to hear from you too. What is your um, haunted house scariest moment? A haunted house, but people say to teachers, it must be nice to have summers off. <laughs> <laughs> this is so real, I feel like. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. How much does it boil your blood? Hope has been saying boil my blood. Add it to the things that boils my blood. Add it to the things that, the things that boil nope. my blood. I feel like this is up there for me. On Okay, that. I was going to save this actually for a conversation for a- an icebreaker, but I'll just use it for this because so been watching the news a good bit with everything that's been going on and obviously wanted to stay in tune. I, I call it checking the news, not watching the news because if I watch it, my anxiety mm-hmm. skyrockets. I like that. But I was checking the news and on it, it just so happened to say, and I did a whole rant about this on social media, but it said that Home Depot's CEO has now asked corporate to um, work one day a week in store so they understand the challenges that employees are going through. Mm. And I was like, first of all, standing ovation for that. And then I, I did have some people reach out that says that they're, you know, significant others work for Home Depot and there are some challenges with it. And I understand that. Okay. But I get the back concept behind it. Cause I'm like, here we are in education talk about spooky and the people who are making all the calls and making all the decisions that impact teachers and students. The very people in the classrooms no are the people who have never even spent a day in yeah. the classrooms and they want to pretend like, Oh, I'm going to go tour America. Oh, I'm going to go tour these schools. Oh, I'm going to go look in these classrooms. And they walk in a classroom for three minutes where yep. the teacher feels like they have to hide all the skeletons in the closet because mm-hmm. they've been told to do so. Mm-hmm. And so administra- not administrators, board members, politicians walk through and think that everything is fine photo op photo op yeah let me get my photo op and act yeah. like i'm present in the building yep. you are the furthest thing from present yeah because that 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 tour is all about your agenda your needs what you need to do to advance yourself it has nothing to do with advancing kids nothing to do with advancing teachers and so i'm telling you i if i could get in the ear of every politician, every board member, and challenge them to go substitute in a school, go spend a week, go go work side by side like we are with these administrators in the state of Indiana and see what the actual challenges are. I guarantee you will make some different decisions. So I don't even remember what the haunted house was anymore. What was it? <laughs> it was summers off. Say, yes. Be nice so, have summers off. Yes. That just shows how far removed people are yeah. from what happens in the education profession. And if you're saying that, you need to go sub. 
Yeah. You need to go sign up and so you probably some some people wouldn't even pass a background check, but that's beside the point too. But you need to be aware of what's happening. If you're going to make those type of remarks about education, you should be educated. Yeah, I mean, I think I go back to um, what parents were saying a lot during COVID, like they were celebrating teachers, just like, oh my gosh, holy cow, and because they understood. Mm -hmm. And then shortly after, Where's it was that? like, oh, okay, yeah. shift I'm it just back. Going, yeah. Where is so, that? Um, just remind, but also just, I mean, th there are some great. To your point, I mean, there are some great board members and all the, and we know that. Yeah. So, and and they're active. I mean, we we have a friend, Shivy, who's actually a teacher, who's a board member. Well, yes, that's very different than the majority of board members that I know, because the majority I, of board members more, that I know, I've seen a lot more. I never even seen their face in a school. They show up at their true. kids' school for what? No, uh, they do the um, first two weeks of school tour where they oh, go and God, check up yes. all the boxes on yeah. the. Um, First two weeks of school. Actually, it's shameful. It's actually shameful if you feel as though that is what is. It's going to move you in politics. Gonna, I think that's where I think uh, becoming a board member is is a politician move for a lot of people. So many people, um, and I think it's and even it's beyond silly. school boards and things like that. I think it's people in district positions, people in people making actual decisions for it. It is not an overall sense of oh my gosh, we're in this for the kids. We're in this. And that's an episode coming up. Um, next season is who is this about? Is it about yeah. the kids? Is it about the adults? Is it about? It's got to be about the kids. That yeah. has to be the focus of everything. Um, my former district actually had a policy where everyone in the district office, no matter what your role, had to do a certain number of full days in schools. Sounds great to check a box. Like, okay, great. They're going back to where they started because most of them were teachers at some point, some for less years than others before they shifted to um, mm -hmm. their role and a little disconnected in there. The majority, and I don't even, I'm not even embarrassed saying this for them because it's just facts and this is facts. The majority of them would choose end of the school year or testing days for their days to help out in schools. Because mm. they said, oh, teachers need more support. We need more support for testing, which yes, is true. But you taking five kids and giving them accommodations for a test is very different yeah. than I'm going to sub the, it, and this is what it's going to look like. It took one school board member who was a former teacher, similar to Shivy, um, on the board, she, I think, was one of the first that I ever saw, and there probably was others, the first that did full days in the classroom as, oh, no, a teacher's out. I will do it. So I will teach there. Try to others do maybe cannot do that. I don't yeah. think they're capable of doing more than a 10, 15-minute because they are that disconnected, which is just kind of sad. Yeah, yeah. They need to do it. Um, yeah. I always say that I want to start a TV show where it's like undercover boss, but it's undercover education. It's undercover teacher. It's undercover. I don't know. Yeah. But it's where like politicians have to go in or, you know, again, people who are making calls, we making give, decisions. We, we give them some training uh, leading up. And they to have to go and in they and they have in, to spend an entire teach. week as the teacher of the classroom week. without they get the same support that every other yeah. teacher gets yep. in the building. They get, so if that's nothing, they get nothing. Um, but then cameras follow them for the journey. I think that would be so fun. That would to watch. be so amazing. Netflix, um, Hulu, Call us. Amazon Prime. It could be a great series, you guys. And then I think there should be special episodes where they take the teacher, like undercover boss, and they put like prosthetics and fake things on them. They have to go back with their kids as a new person and see if they notice. Oh, Unrelated, wow. but that would be so fun. Like as a parent. Yeah, anything. Just like anyone in there, like someone's parent in the class, and they come in and sub, and they're like look yeah, different because yeah. I just love that thing. It's funny. Um, two different. We have two ideas now. There you go. Um, all right. As we wrap up this episode, because it was supposed to be a short one, but oops. here we go. <laughs> oops. Yeah. There we go. I want to know if you had to create one of those. We did some that were from Instagram and things like that. What would be your haunted house personally for you? And let's talk. I'll narrow it down a little bit because we did a little bit of everything there specifically for like instruction for like teachers. And their lesson for instruction. If we want to see moving, what would be your haunted house? Who wants to start? I'll go first. Okay. okay. Great. I thought you guys were going to rock, paper, scissors. Or so it would be, mine would be a haunted house, but, okay, this is going to get a little messy here. And it's Beetlejuice, is, me Beetlejuice is messy. Okay. okay, let's do it. But teachers making excuses for things that they could clearly change themselves. Oh, that's spicy Beetlejuice. I love that one. That's, that, that's, that's good. Because okay, I, going, do, clarify. I do see it a lot. I do see it often, you know, in classrooms that I'm in or in conversations with teachers, there is so much complaining about all the things that um, we wish were different, but there is no actionable steps put in place for what they're going to change. And we've talked mm -hmm. a lot about I feel like post COVID, if I'm being honest, and I'm sure we've talked about this or hit on it or hinted on it in other episodes, but there has been very little honest reflection for teachers because there's so much what seems to be like challenges happening. And it right now it's a blame game of whose fault that is, whose fault that is, whose fault that is. And we're seeing education in a massive decline. 
And to be honest with you, yeah, some things are the teacher's fault. Um, I'm not saying everything is the teacher's fault, but yes, yeah, sometimes in my classroom, there has been many things that have been my fault that I could have done something different, had a different procedure, had a different action, had a different um, response to that, and it would have given me a different outcome. And so I feel like there's just a lot of excuse making right now and not enough solution oriented outcomes. And, you know, I mean, that what that honestly requires is humility to reflect, but also bravery to say at the end of the day, my district can tell me what they want me to do. They can say the F word with, with, with fidelity, but I'm going to be brave and break the rules and do what my kids need first and foremost. And if that gets me results, then I'm on the right track. And I think it's the narrative. Like, do you want to spend time talking about the thing? Because there are things in education where you cannot control, but there are so much more yeah. that you can control day to day yeah. in your classroom. So do you want to talk about all the things that we can't control and never see a change or focus on the things that you can control? We and did a you can whole episode on self-reflection. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't know what number, but okay. check it out. It could be in the past, could be in the future. Time is of the end. So we don't, and if that time makes you feel some type of way, yeah. say Beetlejuice three times, oh, take boy. a deep breath in between, exactly. you feel better about it. Oh, First of all, pause before you go, Wade. Do you have contacts in or something? No, what? Oh my God, look at her eyes. They're, oh, they're like pop. Popping. It's the makeup. Oh my, I think it's the green. It's the purple. Yeah, wow. the makeup. It must be the purple okay. with Crazy. the brown eyes. Yeah, it's got to be. ADD there. Okay, go ahead. No, you go, you go ahead. Oh, okay, well, hope, still made, thinking hope made me think of mine as you were going, but... Um, a haunted house, but there is no student and teacher accountability mm. in the lesson. Mm -hmm. I We see this in schools all the time. This is like my biggest thing. Um, I've been named Data Daddy now by our Magic Squad, which is now I now I sign emails as that, so it's great. Maybe that um, should be the, if you took the hat off and just left the wig, that's, back, the that's Data Daddy. Don't Let's do it. it. Do not. Let's Let's see. See. I'm creepy. Let's no, see. No, no, Data Daddy's like hot. This is not oh. hot. Data Daddy's oh, like I totally don't see Data Daddy. Jacks, oh, wow. Like, uh, running on the beach with a clipboard. That's, wow. That's, uh, that's, that's totally a different yeah. perspective exactly. than I had of Data Yeah, Daddy. that's Data Daddy. He's wearing like scandalous costumes. Like, <laughs> that's Data Daddy. This is not it. <laughs> this is not it. This is not the yeah. Daddy that we want. Um, but, <laughs> of my haunted house. Data. There is Daddy. so much teaching happening where the kids are not being required to do anything themselves. So it's like a one student answers or this instead of that one on one interaction that we talk about every single time we're at a conference or schools, that accountability. And then how do you know your kids actually got it or did not? And a lot of teachers will roll their eyes. Oh, data. Oh, data. Well, if you're not using that to see where students at, you're never going to see the growth. Yep. Um, and I think that's what's been incredible at our Indiana schools. We haven't forced them to really be intentional about it, but we've said, this is the movement we're doing. We've mm -hmm. coached them on it. We've worked right. them on it. And literally immediately they're like, oh my gosh, now I'm actually seeing where students are in relation to that target or that standard. And they actually see it move. So I think um, the scariest thing is when I'm watching a lesson and one of my best friends, um, Corey, shout out. I mean, I don't know if her teachers listen to this, but if they do, sorry. Um, she was doing a, watching a lesson. She's a coach. She was watching a lesson. She was like, oh my gosh, I have no idea where this is going. I need to like take a breath. I need to, on my lunch break, I was in there for 30 minutes. There was no, there was nothing happening. And that's just sad because the teacher probably put a lot into that lesson, but there was probably no student accountability, no teacher accountability. If those things are in place, you're going to see the growth. So my scariest haunted house is being in a classroom um, and there's no accountability. I mean, for the it's as simple as call and responses. So many teachers are using call and responses and there's no expectation for the response. Right. I'm going to call that thing 10 times until it does what it's supposed to do, which is get kids quiet, get them focused, get them ready, get them tracking the speaker, whatever it is. And so do not, I mean, honestly, some in some classrooms, it's just time to toughen up a little bit. It's yeah. time to, to really tighten up on those expectations and not move on until it's met. Because once you start doing that consistently, that's mm -hmm. when the expectation is set. You can't just do it every once in a while or when you feel like it or every so often kids are like, well, they're not going to maybe they'll call it once. Maybe they'll call. So consistency in those expectations, I think, is huge with accountability. Yep, that was mine. Oh, oh, mine was yours. Your well, yours a haunted house, but what? But we can do another one that uh, limited expectations. Oh, wow. oh that it's is a good okay. one. That's, yeah, a, that's good a great one. one. No, but that's I mean, th one. this one kind of goes with it. I mean, I, I think proximity and pacing for me, and I think both of you guys would agree with that's probably my thing because it's more with the classroom management, um, with instruction. But I am just tired of walking into classrooms and teachers are sitting on a stool or a rocking chair and it's not even things during, you can control things, things you can that, control. yes or behind and he's not desk. talking about for like 30 seconds or five minutes no, of a the, whole the, whole the whole lesson yeah. the or whole lesson. or the if whole i day. come back an hour later and they're still there and i look through the window i'm like what is happening and so i mean humans crave being in proximity with each other we we, we crave relationships and 
um, as a human and someone who cares for kids, I think that we need to do that and we need to make an effort to do that. Um, kids are going to want to learn from you just because you're their teacher. And so being around them, but also pushing them, pushing, pu- pushing the pace, not giving them, not saying this, oh, I'll wait until you're quiet. Mm-hmm. No, you will not. <laughs> no, no, we don't, we don't do that. And so n- no time to wait. You only have a certain amount of time with kids. And so four years I think grade level in kindergarten, we don't have time. To gosh, wait. darn it. Yeah. yeah. So I think proximity and pacing is really big with me. Yep. Those are some good haunted houses. Yeah. Spooky. Haunted house, Spooky. But yeah. Excellent. That was good. Um, but yeah, this is only part one. I was going to go on to another thing, but I think we're here for part two. Um, we are going to do a part two of our Halloween episode next week. Yeah. Um, if this is your first episode of this flip side, we are not usually dressed like this. T- Tia, you didn't say anything this whole episode, girl. Tia. I was dying to hear from you. I really was. I think she's thirsty. Please look at the close up of her every time it kills me. Just look, Tia, just look at it. What do you got to say? I'm just Girl, really close your mouth. That's exactly what kids rude. Like. That's I'm, what kids be I'm like. just I'm really sleepy. Oh, just she's really smiling. Sleepy. But that's it for this episode of the flip side. Stay tuned for another spooky edition. The, I was going to say the Wayne's brothers. They're not the Wayne's brothers. <laughs> Wayne and Garth and Beetlejuice will be back here on the couch next week for another that's part right. two, kicking off Halloween week. And it's going to be spooky. So if you're listening on Spotify or Apple Music, make sure you go watch it on YouTube for this one because it's a little different by your average. <laughs> but until then, Catch. Wayne's World. <laughs> no, flip side, flip, flip side. Catch you on the party flip time. Side, flip, flip side, flip side. Bye, everybody. Party time. Oh, my God. Excellent. Bye, everybody. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs>